Hi. Oh, don't pee on me. Hello. Oh, puppies. Hey, I'm Demi Lovato, and I'm hanging out with some puppies while answering your questions. How am I supposed to start answering questions? Oh, you're so cute. Hello. You're a boy, I just found that out. I like the brown ones, they're playful. Can you describe your new album, Tell Me You Love Me, in three words? Nope. <laughs> no. My album in three words would be vulnerable, raw, and soulful. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> would you release a song in Spanish in the future? If so, which Latin artist would you like to collaborate with? I actually, oh, those are my pants. <laughs> those are my pants. <laughs> no, honey. You will have to wait and find out because I recorded something recently and that I think you will like. Oh my God. <laughs> Why did you decide to name your album Tell Me You Love Me? I decided to name my album Tell Me You Love Me because it's one of my favorite songs off of the album and it also is a very vulnerable and raw title. Oh no, he yeah. peed on his face. <laughs> <laughs> You want bones? Bone? No? How is this album different than Confident or any of your other albums? This album is different than my other albums because it's more soulful and I think it's the most mature out of all the albums that I've made. And I've done a lot of growing up personally and professionally, so I think that that's the reason why. But you can help me read the question. I recently just got out of a long-term relationship. I was wondering how you deal with a breakup. I deal with a breakup by leaning on my closest friends and by getting out into the dating scene again. I think that it's important not to dwell on, on certain things and just to get back out there and have fun. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this, these are my pants and that's my finger. <laughs> and that's my next question. <laughs> Are you planning on directing? <laughs> Are you planning on directing more of your music videos like how you directed Made in the USA? I, think I would love to direct at some point, but maybe the next one, who knows? You've had such an amazing career so far. What has been your best achievement? I think Having a number one single was a, definitely a career highlight and also getting my Grammy nomination. <laughs> What's your favorite tattoo that you have and are you planning on getting more? I'm not planning on getting more as of right now, um, but that'll change, I'm sure. My favorite tattoo is my lion on my hand. You're an inspiration to your fans and to other people who have gone through tough times. What does it mean to you to be able to inspire and change the lives of others through your fame? I think that it's really important that you use your platform for good. And if I've been able to use my tough times and um, use them as, uh, there's puppies, I don't know. There's puppies. <laughs> I think that if I'm able to use the difficult times that I've been through as lessons for other people, then I think I'm happy to inspire others. Nope, those are my questions. What song on your newest album do you think is the most personal? I think the most personal song on this album is either You Don't Do It For Me Anymore or Ready For Ya. I think um, Ready For Ya is a song that I wrote that explains a lot about a breakup that I went through. After watching your cover of Silent Night, I couldn't help but think, would you ever consider making a Christmas album? I have considered making a Christmas album. Um, hopefully I'll do that soon. You never know. Social media can be really tough on a person mentally. Any tips on staying sane and confident in a world where every photo is face-tuned and photoshopped? Well, I think that learning to love yourself is very important and learning to love yourself in the skin that you're in is very important. It can be difficult at times and of course the pressures are high, but um, I think that 
As long as you love yourself, that's all that matters. What's the most funniest, the most funniest, memorable prank you've ever pulled and who did you pull it on? The funniest prank that I ever pulled on somebody was I pulled a prank on my security guard. And in Vegas, it's legal to hire a lady of the night to make surprise visits for somebody. So I did that and I sent her to my security guard's room and told her to be very forceful and make herself enter the room. And she did just that and he was very startled and I'm glad that he didn't keep her. Which song on this record was the hardest to write slash record? The hardest song to record was Smoke and Mirrors, which is on the deluxe version of the album. It was a very emotional song that I wrote on um, that basically reminded me. <laughs> what are you doing back there? <laughs> That's my elbow. What are you doing? Um, that reminded me of some very emotional times that I went through. Do you want to act again? I think I would love to act at some point. I've just been so focused with music right now that I haven't had the chance to. What has been your favorite fan interaction or experience? I haven't had a favorite fan experience because all of them are so special. I think that any time a fan tells me that I've saved their life is extremely meaningful and um, it just matters so much to me. And, it's kind of unfathomable, so um, it really means a lot. Last question, who's the first person you call when you have good news? The first person I call is either my mom or my best friend, Marissa. And it's definitely my mom, actually, and then I call Marissa. Um, but I tell them good news, and they get so excited for me because they're so supportive, and I love them so much. Interviewing with puppies was so much fun. They are so adorable. I wish I could take all of them home, but you actually can. They are from North Shore Animal League America, and they're all up for adoption, so hashtag get your rescue on. So that's all I have. I'm gonna go play with puppies now because they're so adorable, and they're very, very playful right now. Oh, 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 so sweet. <laughs>